My name is Masato Fujiwara. I'm a junior in college right now. I moved to Tokyo for college, and I've been living in the student dorms, Matataki dorms, since. Fujiwara-kun, thanks for the notes from the lecture. It's totally fine. I'll repay you later. I gotta go to the female dorms now. See ya! Yeah, see you. My college life is pretty fulfilling. I work pretty hard in school and my job, and I have a decent amount of friends too. I don't have any special traits or anything, but I don't have any complaints either. I'm actually having the perfect campus life. But there's one thing that I wish I could change. Who is that woman? Whoa, Takemi? That would be this woman, who seems to have appeared out of thin air. Her name was Takemi Nakano. How long have you been there? From the moment you were staring at that woman with bad intentions. That's a lie! I don't think I ever did look at her like that. I think. Just so you know, you can't have any romantic relationships in the dorms. She's the dorm leader of the Matataki dorms. You might imagine an older person handling things, but she's only 20. Her father used to be the manager, but he retired because he was too sick, so she took over. A lot of the students like her for her looks, and the fact that she's close in age. From what I've heard, she apparently even has a fan club. But for some reason, she's really annoying around me. She's just in the same seminar as me. There's nothing there. You're lying. I could see how happy you are that she was talking to you. Shut up. It's not that obvious. Whatever the case, even if it was just an attempt, you almost broke the rules, so I'm going to have to help you out around here. What? She's a tyrant. She's totally against the innocent until proven guilty mentality. For some reason, she would often pull this kind of crap to try to get me to help out around the dorms. It was way too illogical, so I could say no, but... Do you not want to? Uh, I can't say no to that look. Fine, I'll help. Thank you. Please come with me. She really did seem cool, but she wore her emotions on her sleeve. If she had a tail, it would be wagging right now. The strange relationship I have with her was the one non-normal thing I had on campus. There's a reason that we became like this. Uh... Um... Huh? Takemi-san? At the time, she was 18 and had just graduated high school. She was new to all of this. Oh, Fujiwara-kun, was it? Did you need something this late? I was just going to the bathroom. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't look. Ah! Oops. Is this some kind of balance book? Yes. I'm not entirely sure how to write everything down yet. The more I looked at her, the more I saw she had horrible bags under her eyes. She must have been fighting with these numbers for a really long time. How far off are you? Not by much. Mm, tens of dollars? What? Then you probably don't need to worry about it. You could just say that it was just random expenditures. No, this is money that I got from the students, so I want to make sure I handle it correctly. I'm going to inspect it further. She was facing her troubles head on. You could feel a sense of responsibility from the weight of what she was carrying to run these dorms. Her look was... attractive to me at the time. I'll help you out then. Huh? N n no no that's really okay. No, I mean, I live in these dorms. I'll help you out. But... I don't want you to push yourself and collapse. You should rely on help when you can, too. Okay, then. Sure. Thank you. After this, I started helping her out with her work. Her work was pretty tough, because she had a lot to do. She had to handle the finances, work with the school for events, meet with the dorm staff, clean and cook. There was a lot of work that she had to do all alone. I did what I could to make sure her life was just a little bit easier during what little free time I had. At first, she seemed a little guilty for getting me to help. But the more we worked together, the more she got used to us working together. Then she started liking me. If I'm not being too overzealous, she probably likes me. That's not a bad thing, but... Fujiwara-kun, you were talking to a girl from the female dorms yesterday. That's against dorm rules. You have to work with me, Fujiwara-kun. There's a girl at your part-time job. You were having impure interactions with the opposing gender. Help me with this. Your professor is a female, isn't she? It's annoying me, so I need you to go shopping with me all day tomorrow. As you can see, 
she kind of gets carried away. She tries to force her way into my life by making me go out on errands or do things with her. Then one day... So yeah, it's kind of tough recently. I'm jealous, man. Jealous? Why? Because you're talking about that super pretty girl, right? What's the problem? Dude, she can be pretty annoying, though. And she's got a lip, too. I mean, she's into you. How cute. My friend Nogami was teasing me the whole time. I let myself vent around him, but man, I probably chose the wrong person to complain to. Sorry about that. Oh, want to go to a matchmaking party then? Were you listening to me at all? She realized that my professor was a female, and she says that it's against dorm rules. Our professor is literally past retirement age. See? I don't even want to imagine what she'd make me do if I went to a party. But it's not like you two are dating, right? Yeah, but... Then who cares? If you have a girlfriend, maybe you can say no to all her little errands. I guess so. He was probably right. It's not like we're dating. At the very least, she hasn't asked me out or anything. So me going to a matchmaking party isn't a bad thing. Probably. But I don't know what it is about the bad feeling I can't shake. I've never been to a matchmaking party. It's fine. I needed more people to come anyway. You could just be there to make the numbers match up, okay? Just consider this helping someone out. I guess so. I didn't feel like going, but they'll do it. Fine, but don't tell Takemi. I don't know what she would do to me. Of course. The day of the party... Uh, I feel horrible. I already ran away from the party. What the hell is that stupid drinking game? What's so fun about that? I was never really good with booze, and I was in a place that I'm not used to, so I got really sick. I really was there just to make the numbers work, so I told him that I didn't feel good. He let me go right away. Uh, I feel horrible. I'm gonna go back to my room and... You look horrible. Where were you? I was with my guy friends at a party! I see. That's not good. Does she know? This isn't good. If she finds out it was a matchmaking party... You were drinking, right? Here, have some water. Oh, uh, thanks. How is it? Yeah, I feel a little better now. Great. Now you can really knock out. Uh, I feel like I'm getting... Dizzy. <laughs> Talk to me. Was there something in that... Oh, it's fine. Nothing bad for you. Have a lovely nap. <sighs> Where... Where am I? What the hell is this? Oh, good morning, Fujiwara-kun. Hey, Takemi! What is this? Oh, that. I'm going to lock you in my room so that you never see another girl again. Why? I warned you time and time again and you went to a matchmaking party. What were you thinking? Damn, how did you find out? Nogami-san told me. I didn't even ask. I'm done being friends with him! That was the end of one shallow relationship. All right, Fujiwara-kun. I'm going to have you sleep and eat in my room to avoid seeing any other girls. What about lectures? You're going to take them all online. Bathroom? If you tell me ahead of time, I'll take you. But I'm going to stay outside the door. You're literally taking me prisoner! This is way beyond anything from before. It's going too far! Hey, Takemi, why do you do this? You don't have to do this, you know. I'll help you out. You should know why! I don't want you to be taken by anyone other than me. You've already figured it out, right? And I like you, Fujiwara. No, Masato-kun. I just really love you. I don't want you to be taken by anyone and just seeing you with another girl pisses me off. Why did you go so far? Do you remember when I was balancing that accounting book before? Yeah, of course. I was really cornered back then. My father suddenly had to go to the hospital and I had to take over. We were actually under pressure to rent out the dorms to someone else or just quit the dorms entirely. 
My father took me to these dorms from when I was young, so I really loved these dorms. I was working hard to figure out how to keep it running, so I told him that I would take over. That's why I was working so hard to make things work. I didn't want to rely on anyone. I wanted to show that I could do things alone. But there was so much that I couldn't do and I was crying every day. Then you saved me. You said that you should rely on people sometimes. I just couldn't help but fall for you. I have loved your kindness since. I see. I know this is disgusting. I know this is insane. But please forgive me. You only have to wait a little longer. Wait? I am the dorm leader and you were a student. You will graduate next year and leave these dorms. Then I cannot rely on you at all. Please just listen to my demands until then. I'm begging you. I understood immediately after seeing her. I knew I was... Talking me? Can you take these off? I can't talk to you like an equal with these on. I think you're completely mistaken, Takemi. I'm not helping you out just as a gesture of kindness only. I remember that day two years ago too. You were working hard without ever complaining, all alone. I thought it was so badass that you were working so hard for us. Which means, um, what I'm saying is, I've always liked you too. I loved working around you. It wasn't a pain. It was just fun. Uh, I see. <clears throat> I said it. I'm so embarrassed, but I'm glad I got it out. So, uh, are you saying that from now on? Yeah, we can keep this going. So you don't need to lock me up like this. Because I have no intention of letting you go either. Okay. Now, this means that both of us like each other, right? So that means we're going to be girlfriend-boyfriend? Which means that... I should probably say it, right? Talk to me? Uh... It's nerve-wracking, even when I know the answer. Will you go out with me? Masato-kun... No. What?! That was not what I was expecting! How is that possible?! I always tell you that you cannot have any romantic relationships in the dorm. Even if I am that person, it's still against the rules. What are you talking about? Then you... I'm not a student, so it's fine. That's so dirty! Apparently, she played me dirty. This was definitely her way of getting at me, using her knowledge about the rules. She looked at me with the most shit-eating grin you could imagine! Alright, Masato-kun. You've fallen in love with me, which is against the rules. You need to help me out with some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I won't complain anymore. Let's continue to be together, Masato-kun.